Hey folks, I want to do a video and uh, introduce you to my new therapist. So, uh, therapy session is uh, back on again, which I'm pretty happy about. And um, so, time to meet my new therapist. This is a 2009 Kawasaki Vulcan 1700 Classic. You can see in the badge there. This is the LT edition, which means light touring. Um, and with the light touring model, you get an adjustable windscreen, um, some nice chrome and a nice badge there. Um, also with the light touring model, you get a backrest for your passenger and some stock bags. Bags aren't too shabby. Um, Looks like they got some PVC in there, so um, hopefully they won't lose their shape. And um, they're they're a little on the small side, but you know you can get by. Um, the owner added some uh, some highway bars here, um, Mustang seats. Although I'll probably need a new cover because these holes here. Uh, I also added a backrest, or not a backrest, a uh, luggage rack, sorry. Um, definitely comes in handy. I've actually already ordered a luggage rack bag that's pretty big, so I'll be able to fit whatever I need in it. Um, the uh, previous owner also added uh, Cobra Speedster pipes with slash cut tips. Those tips are removable. I could probably change them, put whatever I want on them. But I like the slash cut, so I'll probably leave them. Those pipes get a real nice sound to them. So I wanted to talk about some of the things I really like. Um, obviously, there's a good amount of chrome on this bike, which I do like, even though it's a lot of upkeep. Um, these tires are brand new so I've been trying to break them in wear out these nubs and I love this color this two-tone so you got the beige with the yellow striping and then this emerald green with the uh, the metal flake which is just really beautiful I don't know if I can even get that in the video right where the sun is shining you can see that that metal flake there um, the mirror is a stock. I don't really care about upgrading the mirrors. Um, then we got a, uh, it's a six-speed transmission. And uh, fifth and sixth are mainly overdrive. You want to stay usually between three and four. I could be up to highway speed in fourth gear, no problem. Um, fifth and sixth just help you with the fuel economy. It does have a um, heel-toe shifter. Um, I've had heel toes before. I'm not a big fan, um, but I just have to get used to it. You don't have to use it, but the way it's set up, it's just better if you do if you do have it. So um, it does have the passenger floorboards instead of the pegs, which is nice. Both the driver and the passenger floorboards have little um, springs in them, which absorb the shock. These shocks here are adjustable for the driver, both the driver and the passenger. And um, this is actually an air <coughs> air shocks. So I have a little pump in there that I use to just pump it up. So uh, until it's to where Chrissy would want it or anybody else that I'm riding with. And um, thus far, it's been a really, really smooth ride. Smooth shifting, smooth acceleration. Um, going over bumps, it's been no problem at all. I really haven't been feeling any of the bumps too much. I hit a couple potholes where I felt it, but any other bike I probably would have bottomed out and really probably would have felt like a sledgehammer on my spine. This is another thing that I really like with the Vulcan models. This brake light, this design, um, they've had out for a little while now. And I really, it's got that transformer kind of look which I know a few of my buddies really like. 
my friends that are really into them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I think I covered just about everything. I can turn it on and you guys can have a look at the instruments. Uh, so one thing that I probably will get eventually, I, I do want to get some uh, a windshield bag to put up here just to maybe put my cell phone, the keys, um, a drink or something. Um, so yeah. The other thing too is I prefer it when the instruments are up here. I don't like it when the speedometer is down here in the tank because then you have to look down to look at your speed and you end up taking your eyes off the road more so than you would if the instruments were up here. So that's, that is one thing I'm not a big fan of. But um, the other thing too is uh, I'm going to show you something when I actually turn the bike on. It was really cool. But anyway, so you have this kind of like retro look with the speedometer, which is which I kind of like. Um, you have your uh, gear finder here, and then your miles per gallon here. So I'm getting 32.2 miles per gallon on average. Uh, my fuel gauge and my odometer. It also has how many miles you see here how many more miles I can do before I get a fuel and then the time and then back to that and then up up here you can set a trip meter trip A and then trip B so it's pretty cool uh, most bikes have these now have all that stuff um, but I've got it in neutral so why don't we uh, give it a listen So as you see, check this out, ready? Whoop. Once I have the bike running, I can take the keys out and it'll stay running. So those keys won't scratch up the chrome. So that's always a good thing. So let's give it a rev, although you might not be able to hear it too much in the video. Ready? back up. Might be able to hear it better when I'm uh, farther away from it. I think it's got a nice tone to it. Uh, a lot better than the stock pipes. Nothing like the sound of a V-twin engine. Really nothing like it. So, well that's the video guys. I'm going to uh, resume my therapy session and I'm going to uh, hope that I don't get fried. Probably going to put on some sunscreen on my face to protect my big Italian nose here. And uh, and that's it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll probably post some more videos soon. Bye.